Hi everyone, hope you're well, it's Ollie Walsh here. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through the ins and outs of my latest property deal in Anfield in Liverpool, which is a purchase lease option or a PLO. So let's get to it. So just before I take you on a tour around my latest project in Anfield, let's talk about what a PLO or a purchase lease option actually is. So a purchase lease option is basically a way of structuring a property deal whereby you will agree to purchase a property from the current owner for an agreed price within a set period of time. And within that set period of time, generally, you're going to pay a rent to the owner for that privilege. So in my particular case, I've agreed with the owner to purchase his property for £55,000 at any point within the next 10 years. And within those 10 years, I'm the only person who's going to have the exclusive right to purchase that property. And the monthly rent that I'm going to pay for this, £0. This is a slightly unusual case, and I'll come on to the full details about this after the tour. So let's go show you around. Hello MTV, welcome to my crib. Let's show you around. As you can see, we've got uh, a fair amount of work to do on the front of the house. We don't have a front door key, we have a front door padlock. You know you're in for a treat when you've got to unlock the door with a padlock. Come on in. So this is the living room. Um, as you can see, it's seen better days. We've got a hole in the ceiling up there. Yeah, so I think you can see upstairs into the master bedroom. We're gonna need some new floorboards. Now if you come this way, this will be the dining room here. This house has been empty and abandoned for over 10 years, um, so it needs a lot of work doing. Come through over here, this is what was the kitchen. There is no kitchen here anymore, as you can see. This is the bathroom. So all of this is gonna be completely ripped out. Um, new bathroom, new kitchen, new everything put into this house. We've got this weird gap here. You used to have the back door here, but that's since we moved to over there in the dining room. Uh, we're actually gonna take this wall out and extend the kitchen a bit, so it's gonna be a much bigger, much better kitchen. Now, if you follow me upstairs. Welcome to the master bedroom. This is where the magic happens. As you'll agree, a lot of magic needs to happen here to bring it back to its former glory. So we're going to be taking out all of these windows, uh, be putting in new UPVC frames and double glazing. Um, if you look at the floorboards, everything has been stolen uh, over the years. So in some ways, the rip out has kind of been done for us, which is great. This is the second room in here. Check this out. Found this under the floorboards. To Lorraine and Frank. On your engagement, 17th of November, 1992. Unbelievable. Got some lovely wallpaper in here. All of this is going to be coming off. We're probably going to be have to doing have to do a lot of uh, replastering. This is the boiler cupboard. Uh, the boiler has been stolen at some point, so we're going to be putting a new boiler in here. Um, and as is very common with these two up, two downs in Anfield, you've got the outrigger there with the flat roof, which looks in fairly good condition on the whole. So the total cost of this refurb is gonna be just over 20,000 pounds. This is gonna be essentially a complete redo of this house. So there's no existing heating system here. We're gonna be putting in a brand new heating system with all radiators and everything like that. Um, we're also gonna be putting in a brand new kitchen, bathroom, the electrics are being completely redone. We're putting a brand new roof on as well uh, and getting all the windows completely redone in this house. So it's gonna be a big, big job. Um, and yeah, I'll give you some updates as it's going along. So just a couple doors down from this house that we're buying on this purchase lease option, there's another very derelict house, as you can see over here. So this one's been boarded up, it's been broken into all open and exposed to the elements and it's been like this for many many years and unfortunately in this area a lot of houses have fallen into negative equity so it's not that there's um, a lack of demand for housing in this area just unfortunately a lot of the houses are in negative equity but that opens up a, an opportunity for different property strategies like purchase lease options to be used to bring these nice houses back into good use. So I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of the house there. Uh, now let's talk about the numbers behind this deal. So we've agreed a purchase price of 55,000 pounds over an option period of 10 years. 
So that means that at any point within the next 10 years, we can exercise our option to purchase this property for 55,000 at any point within those 10 years. Or if we decide not to, you don't have to exercise your option. You can just let the option period lapse and the nicely refurbished house will be returned back to the owner. So what's the rent that we're gonna be paying per month on this? Well, this is a special case. It's actually zero, nothing at all. Typically in these situations, you're gonna be paying a rent which is the equivalent of the owner's mortgage interest payments because that essentially takes all of the liability away from the owner for this house. However, in this particular scenario, because the house is in such a state, we have agreed that we're not gonna cover the owner's mortgage interest payments. The owner themselves is gonna keep paying that for the duration of the option period. The refurb, as I mentioned uh, during the house tour, is gonna cost just over 20,000 pounds. So what's our rental strategy then gonna be? Well, there's a few different things that you could do in this area. You could run it as a surface accommodation on things like Airbnb or Booking.com. It's fairly close to Anfield Stadium, so it's quite good for the football. Or you can just rent it out on a normal AST basis. It's always best to run the numbers on that kind of basis, I think, to start with a kind of worst case scenario. And to be honest with you, for this property, we most likely will rent it out on an AST basis. Now, for this type of property, you're going to be achieving a rental income of about £500 a month or £6,000 a year. So now let's talk about the long term. What's going to happen to this deal over the duration of the entire 10 year option period? In this area, the current done up value DUV of one of these houses is going to be somewhere between 60 and 70,000 pounds. So that's what you could sell this house for on the open market just after it's been refurbished. At the moment, the property market in Liverpool was going a bit crazy. So if one of these was put to auction, it could go for a lot more than that. I've seen crazier things happen, but let's say somewhere between 60 and 70,000. So again, let's go on the low end. So the current done up value is about 60,000. Estimated value in 10 years. So I don't think it's too unreasonable to hope and assume that one of these houses is gonna be worth at least 100,000 pounds in 10 years. I would have thought even more, to be honest. There's a lot of capital growth going on in Liverpool at the moment. Let's go for £100,000 in 10 years. So what's your profit over 10 years? So as I mentioned before, you're going to be profiting around £500 a month from renting this house out on a normal AST basis. So that's £6,000 a year. Over 10 years, that's £60,000. So now, what equity has been created over those 10 years? So as I mentioned before, in 10 years time, let's say this property is worth £100,000 and we've exercised the option to purchase this property for £55,000 at some point in the next 10 years, probably you know, in, in the ninth or 10th year, if that makes most sense to do so. Now, you've got to also remember to factor in the refurb costs, which are gonna be around £20,000. So we've got our £55,000 purchase, £20,000 refurb costs, so that's £75,000 all in. Then, assuming the property is worth £100,000 in 10 years time, that means we've created £25,000 worth of equity. So your total rental profit plus the equity that's been created in those 10 years is £60,000 plus £25,000 is £85,000. So what does it actually cost to put one of these deals together? To be honest with you, the biggest expense is your time. It takes a while to explain this concept to some owners who don't understand how it all works. However, once you've got through that hurdle, and in this particular case, it took about two years to get there, then the costs are fairly cheap. So the main cost you're gonna have are solicitor's fees. You're gonna want a competent solicitor who knows what they're doing to put this agreement together. In our particular case, our solicitor's fees cost a thousand pounds. You do then also need to pay an option fee to the owner to make this legally binding. And the minimum amount you can do that for is one pound. You just need to evidence an exchange of money to make this legally binding. So in our case, we paid an option fee of one pound. So our total costs, apart from the time spent setting this up, is a thousand and one pounds. So in these type of deals, there's always a certain amount of risk involved and you always want to think about how long is it going to take for me to get all of my money out that I've put in. So let's summarize everything that we will have put into this deal. So you've got a thousand pounds of solicitor's fees. You've got one pound option fee and then you've got a refurb of 20,000 pounds. 
So that gives us a total of just over 21K. So now we've been through the numbers of my particular deal, let's talk about why someone would actually do this. What are the benefits to the seller and what are the benefits for the buyer? So if you own a property and you unfortunately find yourself in negative equity, so the balance of your mortgage is exceeding the current value of your property if you were to sell it on the open market, you would find yourself in a very tricky position where if you sold that property for its current market value, you would have to put in some of your own money, some of your own savings to pay off your mortgage. So for example, let's say you have £100,000 left on your mortgage and the current value of the property is only 80000 if you sell that property for £80,000, you're going to have to put in £20,000 of your own money to pay off your mortgage. Not the best situation to be in. That presents an opportunity for a buyer to come along who knows about purchase lease options to say, yes, Mr. Seller, I will buy this property from you for £100,000 so that you can clear your mortgage. However, I can't do it right now because it's not worth £100,000. It's only worth £80,000. But I will agree to do that within the next five years, for example. If you're confident that the value of that property is gonna go up through your own refurbishment activities and from the market rising within five years, then you can agree to do that within that time frame. The second benefit to the seller is, let's say, for example, that property is empty and it's derelict or it needs a lot of work doing to it and the current owner doesn't have the funds available to do that property up and rent the house out. The owner is also gonna have various liabilities that they need to pay each month. So for example, they have their mortgage payments they need to pay for their buildings insurance, they've got council tax. So all of a sudden, this property that was once an asset to them has become a liability. It's costing them money every month. So again, as part of this purchase lease option, you can agree to pay a monthly rental which covers all or most of their liabilities each month. So the seller can hopefully sit back and relax, give the property to you to manage for the next few years in the knowledge that in a few years, you're gonna purchase that property from them for an amount that is gonna clear their mortgage. And then you as the option holder can invest a bit of money, do that property up, rent it out, and make some money in the meantime. Now, of course, in any transaction, there's always risks involved, and you've definitely gotta go into these kind of deals with your head screwed on um, and having done some decent research. So what are the risks involved with purchase lease options? Well, a big risk is that within your option time frame, the market hasn't gone up or you haven't added enough value through refurbishment to that property so that when the option period is coming to an end, you still don't think that that property is worth the amount of money that you've agreed to pay for it. Now, if that's the situation, you can simply let the option period lapse. That's your safety as the option holder. You can let the option period lapse. You're not forced to buy that property. Now, it's not the most ideal situation in the world, um, but you'll ultimately end up handing that property back, which will be a nicely refurbished property to the owner who can then continue to rent the property out and earn some money from it. So lastly, how do you find these deals? Well, there's many different ways to find these deals. For my deal in particular that we've been through today, this was found purely from walking around the area where I have some other houses already, seeing which houses are derelict and boarded up, going onto the land registry, paying three pounds, anyone can do this, downloading the land registry title to find out who owns the property, what they bought it for, if there is a charge against the property, so if there is a mortgage against the property, and often it will give the owner's address and you can write them a letter. So I hope that's been a really useful video for you guys. Uh, I'm relatively new to the YouTube game, so uh, please give this video a like, comment, subscribe, all that other stuff that you're supposed to do wherever the buttons are. Uh, I'd really appreciate your support and I hope to come back to you more often with more videos, various tips and tricks in the property world and in business, and just generally following my journey in property. So thanks very much. See you later.